All right, so who are we talking to? You are talking to Man Child Black. What's up, everyone? I am Man Child Black, the brother with the sometimes tilted brim, the one who rocks the frames with no lenses in them, Man Child Black. How did you come up with that name? <laughs> the name was given to me by uh, a friend of mine at the time when I was living in D.C. And he just used to call me Manchild as a nickname. Never fully explained why. I think I asked him why he called me Manchild, and he said, You just look like a Manchild. So it kind of stuck. And then um, as I went on to use the name full time, I added black to it because I discovered there were some other people using the name Manchild Black. Manchild. And so I said, Well, I'm going to be a little different. I'm going to be man-child black. So. <laughs> so I added the black onto it. And it, it made sense because it, it, the, the, the name for me represents the three constants in my life. One, that I will always be a man. I'm not changing that. I'll always be a child of God and a child at heart. And I'll always be black because this don't come off. So <laughs> that's that. Tell us about your new EP. New EP? show it all because I'm very proud. It's called My Mind's Eye. It's um, about to drop on mixtape sessions. Shout out to Adam Cruz, his label. Um, and it's an EP. It's a four songs that'll be on the forthcoming album, My Mind's Eye. And um, I'm very excited. It's been a, a long process in getting this music out into the world. And I'm just very happy with each of the songs and all of it. Very happy. Which, uh, which of the tracks on the EP is your favorite? Oh, man. I can't say that. <laughs> They're all like children. No, honestly, to tell you honestly, all of them, mm -hmm. all of them, because they all show a slightly different side of who I am as an artist. You know, they all a little bit of different subject matter. Most of what I... Um, do when I write songs. Most of the types, the types of songs I write the most tend to be very political or socially conscious or, or I hate to say message driven but that's all I can come up with right now. Message driven. And um, so we have that side. We have um, we have that side and say songs like Ascension and Heavy but we also have the more fun side or the looser side with songs like Out of Sight and Words, so it's all there. Tell us about uh, the album in terms of EP, in terms of uh, production. Uh, did you produce the songs yourself? No, I'm not that advanced yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tell us about the songwriting process then. Okay. Basically, um, the four songs we used, two of them are songs I've had for a while. Heavy and Words have been with me for a while. I just basically updated them, changed the arrangements, made them, updated them a little bit. But with Out of Sight and Ascension, what happened, um, Out of Sight I did with Adam Cruz. Um, and he just sent me a beat, basically. And uh, said, you know, he, no, what happened was he, he said he wanted to, to work with me on a song. And I said, okay. And he asked me, well, what kind of song do you want? I said, I don't know. You, you'll know it. You know, you just come up with something and you'll feel if it's right for me. So sure enough, he sent me the track. I was like, okay, this is going to work. And as soon as I heard it, I knew what it was going to be about, what I was going to use it for, the, the role it was going to play on the EP as well as the album, which is basically like an intro to who I am. And, um, and we did it. We knocked it out. And, uh, you know, quick and easy. I love it. <laughs> now with Ascension, what happened, the other brother I worked with and who I normally work with uh, as far as songwriting and production is Shelton Garner. We've been working together for years. So he put a bunch of tracks on a, on a CD for me and, you know, told me to listen to him and see, you know, what I wanted to write to. So the track for Ascension stuck out, stuck with me, you know, out of all the tracks. I said, hmm, it, is more, it was more hip hop driven than what I'm normally used to. And uh, I just immediately, again, knew what I wanted to say on it, how I wanted it to go. Um, when we first started it, there were programmed drums on it. 
but I decided, you know, I felt like it needed a lot more of a live feel, so we added more of a live feel on the drums, and that really drove the song, and um, and that was another very easy one to come up with. So the process for me can be easy or it can be hard. Like there are some tracks people give me, and it takes me months to write to. It just uh, it, it's just a feeling, I guess. It's, it's like timing. You know. And where do you get the inspiration to write? Everywhere. From my conversations with people, to the conversations in my head, to uh, watching television programs or reading books. It can be anything. But mostly it's conversations I have with other people. You know. And also things I observe. Mm -hmm. uh, and tell us about where do you want, where do you see your career as a musician in three to five years from now? What's your goal? Well, now, in three to five years. Well, in three, in three years, I definitely want the album to drop. I mean, we're shooting um, to have that completed by the end of this year, early next year. Production-wise, it should be done by the end of the year, but out probably early next year. So in a few years, I want to be touring. <laughs> I want to be touring. Like, I've done a lot of shows in New York and the New York area, but it's really important for me to see the world with this music. The whole thing for me with music, the reason I do it, is really to uplift people and to heal people. And I feel like I can't just do that just in New York. I have to be able to do that everywhere. So I would like to see the world with this music. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Europe. Um, Africa. That's my dream, you know. So I just want to, I want to have everybody singing a little bit of man-child black music. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and who is man-child black? What is your real name? Oh, man. Didn't I say I didn't want to answer that question? <laughs> No, um, Derek Diosi Gentry okay. is my full name. Uh, Diosi, which is my middle name, was my dad's first name. Mm -hmm. So that's where that comes from, but Derek Gentry. Right. Is there anything else I didn't ask you uh, about your album or EP that you want to talk about? The EP? <laughs> you can pick up at one of my live shows or it will be online at, uh, on iTunes and, and, and uh, online uh, music stores such as iTunes, um, probably next month, next in June. So, and i uh, got some shows coming up, but uh, if you need to know all that, just come check me at manchildblack.com or MySpace, you know, MySpace backslash manchildblack. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.